Leonardo discusses his role in one of his earlier films, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, and the fun he had portraying the free and spontaneous character, Arnie. Leonardo, great to see you again. Nice to see you too. Last time was in a very cold New York City for mm -hmm. this boy's life, where uh, I got to know you a little bit. Yeah. And enjoyed that interview, and, and you were excellent in that film. And uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And worked with some wonderful people, like mm -hmm. uh, Mr. De Niro. Mr. De Niro. Alan Barkin is your mom. Yes. And then let's shift into What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Mm -hmm. uh, you just said hello to Johnny Depp, of course, who plays your brother right. in uh, Gilbert Grape. And tell us a little bit about your character, Arnie, I think his name is. Arnie is uh, mentally retarded. He's Johnny's... Autistic, right? No, mentally retarded. Mentally retarded, okay. Uh, plays Johnny's younger brother, uh, Gilbert's younger brother. And he, he's usually the type of person that does specifically whatever he feels at a, at, a, at a singular moment. He'll go off and climb the water tower or he'll scream or burp or yell or do whatever he wants at any at any time he's a real instinctual character and i, I had a great time playing him for that reason because i was pretty much free to do whatever i wanted with him you know, you know well johnny depp said that it, it was just the joy doing the movie with you he, and, and everyone i talked to on that that press screening they said that you've got to talk to leonardo because uh, he's so good in this movie and my colleagues right down the list uh, about your performance, and I echo those sentiments, Lee. Thank you very much. You were wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really a lot of fun. Was it? I've never played a character in my life that had that much freedom, and yeah. I could do it. And Johnny and Juliet were very cool for letting me go off and do my own little thing without, you know, calming me down because yeah. I was very hyper. <laughs> you know, Johnny has played a character's. Uh, where he's somewhat distant, almost not mm -hmm. human, but this one he is. Were you surprised very human. at his acting ability? The, the Gilbert in this film is the uh, type of character that represses his feelings about everything. He doesn't want to let Juliet's character, uh, yeah, Becky, Juliet know. Lewis we're talking about, yeah. yeah, Juliet Lewis. He doesn't want to let her know how he truly feels about things, what his true feelings are. So he's constantly putting a wall up to her because he, he does like her and he doesn't want, he, I think he thinks of himself as a bad person almost. When he's really not, he just is not a good communicator and not a type of person to let people know how he truly feels about things. And uh, Arnie's the type of character that is always on his case about about not telling things, you know, come on, Gilbert, that's not, you know, uh, always riding him. He's always very loud and obnoxious, and that's not the type of attention that Gilbert wants to get in a situation. Yeah. So it was a great combination between me and Johnny. And Johnny's character was, it, it showed a, a lot of hidden emotions that he had. The surface. The surface of Gilbert is uh, is more of a conventional person. Um, to me, what was interesting about Gilbert is that all his all his emotion and all his his angst and all his hostility mm -hmm. was inside, um, and that it at times touched the surface. And there's only once or twice that he actually let it fly. Yeah. Um, so the interesting thing for me to play Gilbert was that it was all behind, it was all behind, you know, mm -hmm. it, was all, it was all behind a facade. For a lot of people, it's a, it's almost a kind of voyeuristic uh, thrill in a way. I mean, being able to, I mean, to, to, to be like a fly on the wall in the lives of these, of these people, of these people who are emotionally and, um, and uh, psychologically hindered, you know, mm -hmm. sort of uh, dysfunctional family. I think people will relate. If you if you see Leo, you just tell him I said hey and uh, tell him his big brother's still here. You know. I'm doing good, Johnny. Thank you. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the story. What's eating Johnny Grape? Well, we know about your character mm -hmm. and Johnny's now, but uh, just briefly about the story. The story is about um, <clears throat> a small family in Endora, Iowa, um, mainly about Gilbert coming to his own and finding himself. He has a, there's a series of different things. Should I pause for this fan here? Let it go. Say when, Mike. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... Uh, the story's about Johnny Depp, Gilbert Grape, who uh, lives in a small, time, small town in Endora, Iowa. Let me do that again. The story's about Gilbert Grape, who lives in a small town. 
Ta. In Dora, Iowa. <laughs> in Dora, Iowa. The movie's about uh, Gilbert Grape, who lives in a small town in Dora, Iowa. And uh, it's about his family, my, me, myself, who, who plays his younger brother, and Mama, and the two sisters. And it's about him realizing who tr he truly is as a human being and his emotions and everything like that. And that's where the Juliet Lewis character comes in. She sort of comes into town and sort of lets him speak out about things that he's never spoken out before about. And it, there's a, tons of weird, interesting characters throughout the film. And Lhasa is so brilliant at showing the different, different emotions of every different character that's going on. Each person in the film has their own sort of agenda for life and, and it really shows. It's well I've seen it and of course it's a beautiful story. And you're surrounded with, as we mentioned, Johnny Depp mm -hmm. and Mary Steenburgen. Mm -hmm. Who's fabulous. Fabulous. And what a great story. Darlene Cates who plays your mother. Tell us about Darlene. Dar Darlene's an interesting person. I mean the fact that she could come in in the position that she's in in life where she's yeah. overweight and I'm sure she gets a lot of people staring at her and a lot of unnecessary attention to come into a movie for the first time and do the job that she's done and feel so comfortable and so loving towards everybody that was on set, including me and Johnny, we just loved her. We just hugged her constantly. Yeah, but well, to be that comfortable in front of us and not, and I, so. I don't know what her weight is, but she was discovered on a talk show. Yeah, she was di about her discovered weight. on Sally Jesse Raphael, I believe it is. And what is she, three, four hundred pounds? Mm, uh, she's about five hundred. Five hundred, woo, okay. And to lead that kind of life, I mean, for me, playing Arnie, I went in there and I was able to be this character and at, at the end of the three months, I was done with. She has to live that life. Uh, it's just a real touching thing for me to, to see that she did such a, she did a terrific a job. job. Darlene is, for me, the shock of the film. She is the most incredible, one of the most incredible people I've ever known. First of all, to be so brave as to allow herself to unravel emotionally because in front of our of, eyes, you yeah, know? Yeah. And to, 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 to put in such a performance that's, that's without flaw, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's 100% yeah. honest. I mean, it's, it's right there. Real people. She's Real incredible. People. Yeah. She's incredible. And I, she should be applauded. Uh, if I were a member of the Academy of Arts and Sciences, you would get a vote for Supporting Actor of the Year for an Oscar. And there are rumors, Leonardo. There are rumors, yeah. yeah.